All right, Chris wanted me to make a quick tutorial just to show everybody real quick how to do it since it's a lot easier than reading the entire big post I made on my section. So here's the object that I'm going to be using. Uh, it's just a little panel I'm going to use just for the elevators and stuff in the hangar. Uh, as you can see, like everything's already unwrapped and everything like that. So the first thing that you need to make sure you have is there's two plugins for Blender that are really important. The first one is uh, the updated FBX exporter. Uh, basically what this does is it gives you more options when exporting it. Uh, the one that's in uh, version 7.0a by default is a little outdated. Um, the other one that I'm using which isn't as important but it'll help you especially if you have multiple objects on the scene is the export selected option. And basically all that does is it gives you the extra option to export selected and it'll tell you exactly what the selected objects can be exported as. Um, so for the collisions, the first thing that you need to do is pretty easy. Uh, this thing's already named Hangar Console. Uh, always make sure to put it in the center of the world. If not, uh, the UDK is going to really fuck up the pivot points. And then the second thing is that Basically, you're just creating a giant hitbox. Now, you can create much more complex shapes than this, but uh, since this is a static object that you're not really going to interact with, it's just going to be a, a static in any place. I, I'm just going to create like just a really simple just box on it. So, just shape it up. And then... Shape it in the front and the back. Alright, now this thing here, you have to give it the exact same name as... The hitbox has to have the exact same name as the uh, object that it's supposed to be detecting collisions for. Uh, the difference is that you put UCX underscore in front of it, all capitals and then the name of your object. Now j make sure to select your hitbox, then your prop, then we export it as an FBX. Now the second part is that uh, you need this thing called the FBX converter it's a free download. You can just uh, get it at uh, Autodesk's website. I'm going to put everything that uh, you're going to need, the uh, export selected, the updated FBX exporter for Blender, as well as this, all in the description of the video below. Um, so basically all you have to do, you get this thing, go into it, get your new FBX that you made. Uh, it's going to create a folder inside of the folder. It's going to say uh, converted files or something like that. So just convert it. Then we go over to Unity, or not Unity, sorry, my bad, <laughs> uh, Unreal, and, oh shit, actually, I forgot one part. When you export it as an FBX, I already did this, you only have to do it once, and then uh, it'll remember by itself. Uh, in the updated FBX exporter, uh, you want to set the scale to 100 times, because inside of Blender and uh, Unreal, they both have what are called, you know, standard me standard units. Now, in Blender, the standard unit is supposed to be one meter, so everything's scaled by the meter. Uh, in uh, Unreal, though, uh, every the default unit is one centimeter. So, because uh, you could change your units inside of Blender to one centimeter if you want, or you can just scale it. To 100, and that'll keep your scaling the exact same in Unreal as it is in Blender. So just make sure to set that. Then you open up Unity, or again Unreal. Uh, import your FBX. Static. Import normals and tangents. Import. Then we put it into the scene. And then if we click on it, and then we open up your collisions, you can see that 
that mesh we made earlier is the collision box on it. So if we play, we can actually run down there. And uh, we should be able to just run into it, jump on it, and I know it's a little dark, but it stops us. Now, a uh, couple things to keep in mind with the actual meshes for the hitboxes, um, especially objects like this. Uh, the one thing about Unreal is it really doesn't like inner angles. Basically what this means is this shape here I actually had to redo the hitboxes because as soon as it cur the angles curve inwards it'll just create a box around it. So what that means is you have to make m a few more smaller boxes. So if I open up the collisions here you can see that each segment has its own hitbox. So we'll make uh, that's actually the issue with the floor earlier which is why we weren't falling. Uh, if you try to do it with a single hitbox even if you extrude it and make the shape properly, as soon as there's these kinds of inner angles, it tries to sort of extrude between the two. So what I did here is actually, it's a single shape. I took one shape, brought it over, and then extruded it to the sides. But you would have to bring it here and then make a second shape to cover this part. And what that means is this would have its own hitbox, this would have its own hitbox. So that's pretty much it. So just make sure to keep all that in mind and uh, everything should work smoothly. If I play again, you can see that once that's set, everything's fine.